Hiya folks, Scott, a review guys. Hey, it's Draft Night. The universe will never look the same again, as we've been told numerous times. Uh, interesting night. So let's mainly just talk about the draft itself and uh, some thoughts surrounding things like this. The Hart Dynasty did win the tag, the unified tag team uh, titles. Good. Good for them. I kind of wish they would have built it up a little bit more. I think it would have been more satisfying had we had a little more time to, to really care uh, about them and for them. Because it's only been a couple of weeks. But good for them either way. First draft pick of the night, uh, Shelton Benjamin gets drafted to TNA. So good for you, Shelton. It's <laughs> my little joke. Uh, no, the first draft pick of the night, Kelly Kelly drafted to SmackDown. Now, good or bad, I don't know. It makes me think of Mickey James. Uh, poor Mickey, by the way. Because uh, with all due respect to Shelton Benjamin, who people love, uh, I think the loss of Mickey, or the release of Mickey, was the, uh, was the biggest mistake they made that day, what was it, Wednesday, Tuesday, Thursday? Because, first of all, of the Divas, Mickey James is the only one that, that we've really, that they really put anything into us caring about. Does that make any sense? Uh, they, they spent so much time on the Piggy James, you know, Mickey versus Michelle, Mickey versus Le Cool. Uh, there, there was really no face Diva for us to really root for but Mickey James. And then they said, okay, never mind. And so who knows what that's all about. I've read, I guess we've all read or heard the stories. But it was a big loss, a big loss for the, 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 the divas in the WWE. Maybe Kelly Kelly's going in there to try and patch things up a little bit to give us uh, somebody. Because I, I like Kelly Kelly. She's a, she seems like a very likable girl. But, uh, you know. I just kind of feel like the Divas division right now is this, this uh, it needed, yeah. So maybe, yeah, <laughs> it really doesn't matter to me. In other words, after they got rid of Mickey, I'm saying, guys, do you have any plan at all with your ladies? So moving on. Uh, next track, pardon me for rambling <laughs> about that. That just went a little, little, went a little long. But nevertheless, I, I, that's my thought. Big Show goes to SmackDown. All right. So we've got Big Show, we've got Kelly Kelly going to SmackDown. Big Show, I think, is turning face. He stares down Teddy Long. Wait, how, where did he do it? Huh? And then he hugs him. So we might have a we might have a face turn with Big Show there. Uh, Big Show is somebody who, to me, has been much better. He 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 bored me for a while, but now I feel I feel like you know, I'd like to see what they do with him. I'm uh, you know I'm going to withhold judgment. I, I like what he did with Jericho. With what he did with uh, Miz was pretty good, so I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to give him a fair shake, uh, and I have a feeling he's going to be one of the top guys. So let's brace ourselves. Anybody who hates Big Show, you're going to see a lot of Big Show, I think. Uh, okay, so SmackDown it gets two. Raw now needs some picks, so that's why I knew the ten man dual brand battle royal. I said Raw is going to win, and I just started to, I just prepared myself. I said Raw is going to win, and John Morrison is going to be one of them. A few years ago, when I first started watching, Chris uh, was uh, was on the edge of his seat on draft night. Just really intense. He's, he's a pretty high-strung guy anyway, but really intense this night. Hoping and praying that Jeff Hardy didn't get drafted from Raw to SmackDown. He saw that as just the word, just like the death knell in 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 uh, Jeff's career. Just the end, the worst thing that could happen. Well, this year I find myself doing the exact opposite, praying that my favorite guy, John Morrison, doesn't get drafted from SmackDown to Raw, because Raw, like I said in the last video, that's where young up-and-coming stars seem to go to die, <laughs> which you know, I and I, I can't help can't help but think uh, MVP. I feel like uh, he was completely wasted for the past year. Uh, wasted meaning not like he was on drugs or anything. <laughs> uh, that would be Brian Kendrick, and he's in TNA now, so that's really not. Oh, stop. Stop with the TNA! People are really touchy when you say TNA. They probably took offense at the Shelton Benjamin line, which I think is a travesty. Uh, so anyway, uh, I was right. Morrison to Raw, our truth who I was hoping would continue uh, a singles career at SmackDown, he goes to Raw. I was troubled that they get moved 
at the same time, because again, MVP Mark Henry come to mind, two guys whose careers have just flatlined since being drafted to Raw, so hopefully that doesn't happen. But, hopefully they won't be paired together for any long stretch of time. Then the big surprise, Edge, comes to Raw. <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. We'll just calm down. Uh, Jericho and Christian. Jericho and Christian had a match. Uh, Jericho wins, so Kofi goes to SmackDown. Just, just hold your horses. We'll get there. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, a Jack Swagger and John. Now, this is the first test. This is the, John Morrison's first match as a member of the Raw roster. Now, I had a pretty good feeling Morrison would not win this match. I said to myself, Morrison beat Swagger on Friday night. Swagger is just coming off of his, you know, retaining the title. So they're probably going to want Swagger to look strong and win. So the big test is, will he squash Morrison? Will Morrison, you know, how is it going to work? It turns out it was a, I thought it was a really good match. Long match, protracted match. They both, uh, Swagger pretty much pummeled Morrison, but Morrison was resilient. He got his big moves in, and I thought it was, uh, I thought it was okay. I, I was, I was, I was okay that Morrison lost, uh, because I think it was, I think it was a strong showing for both, for both people. But because Morrison lost, Christian gets drafted to SmackDown. Again. Again. After the next one, then I'll make my comment. Dolph Ziggler lost to Hornswoggle. Complete... <laughs> I wish Hornswoggle would get drafted to TNA or to anywhere. Um... Uh, and why is he wearing the DX Army shirt? Does he not realize DX is um, dissolved? I mean, you know, that was your that was your thing, and it's gone. So uh, I'm just saying, that's the breaks, little man. Thank you, thank you. I've been dying to say that. It didn't really work, but <laughs> that's what I was saying. I said as soon as Hornswoggle is out of DX, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it in a video. That's the breaks, little man. Do you get it? Does anybody? Man, I'll I'll, I'll say it again, and it'll be better next time. <laughs> And you'll just pretend it's a new. So Jericho goes to Raw. So, what do we have? Let's go back. And that was the final pick of the night. To Raw, Edge and Jericho, in terms of big names. That's like two of the main guys at Raw. Who's left in the main event at Raw? I'm having trouble rem remembering. Uh, Swagger's there. Undertaker's there. But going to SmackDown... I'm sorry, SmackDown. SmackDown. But going to SmackDown, Kofi Christian... Big Show, so maybe we got these three guys who are going to work their way up, and I can completely see uh, Kofi and Christian working their way quickly into the main event scene. Maybe they're going to be forced to because of the uh, because they uh, because they yeah, they need them. Okay, final match of the night: Orton. It's supposed to be Orton versus Sheamus, and I'm thinking, okay, here's gonna, this is going to be the stipulation. Uh, one, the winner is going to be number one contender. The loser is going to be drafted to SmackDown. I said Orton's going to lose. He's going to be drafted to SmackDown. Therefore, SmackDown's going to get a main eventer and will, you know, restore balance to the force, if you will. Well, then out comes Batista. Uh, Batista. At first, I thought Sheamus was going to end Batista's career because I read that Batista's probably nearing the end of his, you know, his his run, his career in the ring. And I thought, oh, please don't, 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 don't let this be a feather in Seamus's cap. He ended Orton, uh, Batista's career. Luckily, that didn't happen, and oddly enough, Batista won. He got the. He's he's now the number one. So I guess at least he's got another month. Uh, but the surprise was, Orton looks like he's about to uh, pin Seamus. Outruns Edge, who spears Orton. Interesting dynamic, and I'll tell you why. Orton has been a fan favorite, but not quite a face, but not quite a heel. He's in that gray area. Do you see my hand here? This is the gray area. This would be face. That would be heel gray area. He's been hovering there. <laughs> and then Edge, same thing. Closer to face than heel, but still in the gray area. 
So is that that's, that's interesting and exciting to think that we'll have two gray area guys going head to head. <laughs> I feel this is very visual represent. This is for the hard of hearing. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, that, that's going to be interesting to see what happens. Is one of them going to become fully faced while the other fully healed? Will they stay in the middle? Will we be allowed to decide? Interesting and exciting, but both guys that I find very likable, and I would, you know, I, 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 I yeah, <laughs> I, I would have guessed that they would both wind up being heals again before long, and who knows, who knows what's going to happen. So, uh, that's that. So the universe, let's wait for the supplemental draft. That seems like it's going to be an exciting uh, prospect. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to watch. I have a feeling somebody big has got to go to SmackDown. It just doesn't feel big enough. And like I said, uh, again, last video, um, SmackDown's about to go to sci-fi. So you think they'd want to beef it up. They really beefed it up when it went to My Network TV. So who knows? I, I'm, I'm going to watch closely, and I think you should as well. <laughs> so thank you for watching, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you very soon.